Now, in many cases, even um, we'll be talking about generational curses and all that kind of stuff later on. We'll explain all that stuff to you. But generally speaking, a person can, uh, sickness and disease can come through weakness of the body somewhere. Your, your immune system is down. You have roughly three different types of immune, immune systems. You have a spiritual immune system, a physical immune system, and an emotional or soulish immune system. Now, of those, the spiritual immune system is the most important. Amen. You can have a strong spiritual immune system, meaning you're full of the Word of God, you believe the Word of God, you act on the Word of God, you believe the Scriptures that says nothing can by any means hurt you, 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 know, you just believe the truth, right? You have a strong spiritual immune system. Now, based on it, you can have, you can go through a lot physically and your body be just broken down for various reasons and you still not get sick because you have a strong spiritual immune system. Why? Because it's the most important. Now, second to that is your soulish immune system. Okay, always remember, no matter what you're talking about, spirit first, soul next, body third. In that order, okay? And even the scriptures talk, it, talk to us about it in that way. It talks about spirit, soul, and body. The spirit is most important, the soul is next, the body is last, okay? So your spiritual immune system is the most important. Your soulish immune system, which means simply this. You ha and I'm just going to put it in blunt terms. You have a positive, strong outlook on life. I'm not just talking about psychology and that kind of stuff. I'm just saying, you, you, when I say a strong, positive outlook, what that means is you don't allow yourself to worry. Okay? Worry is meditating on fear. Amen. Yeah. That's all it is. Now, when you meditate on God's Word, you don't go into worry, you go into faith. So, if you meditate God's Word, you're going to be positive, that's what's going to come out of you. But now, meditating on God's Word has nothing to do with your spirit, it has to do with your soul. That's why you meditate. You meditate with your soul, not your spirit. Okay? And you need a strong soul immune system. So, you need the Word of God to line up in your head what is true in your spirit, which is true with the Word of God. And when you get those lined up, if you have a strong spiritual immune system and a strong soulish immune system, your body can't do anything but stay well. Honestly, I mean, you can wear it down, you can break it down, and it's amazing. It will repair itself. You will have energy. You will keep going, all that kind of stuff. But if you have, if anywhere in there, since the soul is above the body, if you have a weak soulish immune system, meaning you may be born again, but all you ever do is talk doubt, talk unbelief, talk fear, you know, oh, it's going to be bad, what's going to happen? You're meditating on the negative, guess what? That affects the body, and your body, anything that comes along, your body may get. Why? Because the soul, being above the body, overrules the body's immune system. You can exercise, you can do vitamins, you can do all, eat right, you can do all of that. That should give you a strong physical immune system, but if your soul is weak, your body will still get sick. Right? And so, in those three, you need all three to be strong, but it, the main ones is the spirit, then the soul, then the body.